So today I'm going to do an updated sort of makeup storage and collection video for you. I did mention I was going to do this a couple of videos back and a couple of people did say that they would like to see it. So I'm not, I hate doing this, this is a disclaimer. Um, I'm not bragging about my collection. I don't think I have a massive collection in comparison to some people on YouTube. I just enjoy my makeup and I like how I store it. And how I store it is I actually use a lot of quite cheap alternatives. I've got some things from Ikea, a lot of things from charity shops and I've got this brilliant bookcase that I got from Argos which was very cheap as well which is fantastic to clear up your workspace. So let's get on with it. Okay I'm going to try not to make this video too long for you. We're going to start at the top of this bookcase. I've um, got a picture of Marilyn up there and just some little bits and pieces, a little um, wedding shot glass, um, a commemorative tin and then I've got one of these little Ikea storage pots with my beauty blenders in there. I've got a clock which was 2 pounds from B&M. It's quite a nice little clock, I love that. And I've got a cup that I got from a charity shop that's got Lisa on it. And then behind that is the one of the boxes. I can't even remember what that one is, how terrible. But it was a limited edition one. And then this is just a bunch of glassware from charity shops. Got a vase there um, and then a couple of smaller vases. Moving on to the first shelf. So I've got some palettes here. Um, I won't open them but if anybody would like to see any of them please let me know. This is the Diego Della Palma Snow White and the Huntsman palette. That was from Tesco. I've got two Stargazer palettes here. Um, which I have shown on my channel before. Um, this is a Villains palette from the Disney shop. And then I've got the Balm Nuditude palette. A number 17 palette. And then this is the number 17 all about nude. And then I've got some Too Faced ones. I've got Pixie Pinups. And then I've got Natural Eye. And Naked Eye. And then I've just got this little one that came free with a mascara, which is 17 Peep Show. I love that. And then here are these little boxes. These were, I think they're around 79 pence from, um, I was going to say Morrison's. They're from Wilkinson's. And it was three for two. So in the first one are my MAC gloss collection. I don't have a huge amount, really. I got quite a few of them in bag sets, and I've done some swaps. Um, but yeah, they're really nice. Probably one of my favourites. Oh is this one Narcissus I love Narcissus um, I love as you can see this just really nice dark colours there's some really nice glitters um, I've got one of these um, kissable lip colours which is just the most gorgeous purple and then I absolutely love this one. This one is the Rebel Gloss when they did the sets, the fashion sets. It's gorgeous, that. So quite a nice mix of colours in there. And that had fallen down the back. It's just a Too Faced cupcake palette that I got off a friend. And then in the next one, I've got a little bit of a mix. So in here are some NYX. And in the back are all my models on. And then I've got some Avon Bourgeois and pop colours in there. These Avon ones, I wish they'd do them again. You get a couple of colours in there and then you dial at the bottom what colour you want it to be and then it comes out that colour on your lips. So they're fantastic. I've got all four of those. And then the last one is you've got Maybelline MNYs, then you've got Barry M over here and then these are all Revlon at the back. So those are my lip glosses. I'm going to move my mirror off. I'll put that back at the end to show you what it looks like. But on the second shelf down, oh by the way, I forgot to say, this is the baby bootcase, which is from Argos, and it was £12 or £12.99, which is a bargain. It's not very deep, as you can see, but it's perfect for makeup storage and it just keeps everything at the back of the desk. So this is actually my Urban Decay shelf here. Um, so up here I have got um, my Alice in Wonderland palette upside down. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. Then this is the 15th anniversary palette. I've got Theodora and Glinda here. Then I've got one that I made myself um, which is just basically um, some nice highlight shades and nude sort of shades for bases. Then I've got Naked Basics 
and I've got Naked and Naked 2 there. And then underneath are the Burka Shadows 1 and the Burka Shadows 2. Coming over here, that's the Mariposa palette. And then I've got Anarchy and Shattered at the front. At the back I've got the Ammo palette. I've also got the Sustainable palette. Um, the Feminine palette. The Deluxe box of shadows. And I've also got the Midnight Emergency kit back there as well. And then at the front I've got the Dangerous palette. And then that is the Preen palette. Then I've got the Roller Girl palette and another one of those little like mini deluxe ones. I can't remember the name of that one. Then I've got the Smoke palette, Vice 1 and Vice 2, Book of Shadows 4 and 5, and then this is the palette that I made myself, which I did a video on. And that's how it's looking so far. I've got another one to add in there, and hopefully I'll fill that up. So that is the Urban Decay shelf. Then coming down here, um, on the bottom shelf, I'll just move some of these things out here. These are my MAC lipsticks. So, um, in the bottom one here, these are all my sort of unusual colours. So I've got some silvers, some whites, um, I've got the Summer Showers one which is green. Um, and then I've got my Gareth Pugh collection and I've got Black Knight, which was um, Black Friday two years ago. Um, they're all in there, so they're the more unusual ones. These are the Marcel Wonders ones. And then these are the Pro Longwear and Sheen Supreme ones, which are, I like to keep them separate. Over here, actually in the bottom one, is not very many. I've got, um, I think it's only one out, but these are my Faber Glam ones. So they're both, um, you've got two Nikki's and two Gargars there. And I've got Faber Glam one out at the moment. The next one are my Marilyn Monroe lipsticks. I like to keep them in there. And then in the top one, these are all sort of bright, so um, very bright pinks, bright fuchsias. Not shown to its full justice there, but yes, very bright colours. So they're my bright ones. I like to keep those separate. And then in the top here, these are my purples. So I've got just a few in the bottom there, and then more in the top. And then over here I've got two drawers of reds. There's quite a lot in the bottom one there. And then... So over here I've got two of these um, frosted glass containers. These are actually from Asda. I think they were £3. And they're really pretty. They're really heavy. And in this one, as you can see, it's quite colour coordinated. These are all just blues, um, a few greens. Um, I've got a, a couple of glass flowers in here. I've got a, a blue one somewhere. Yeah. They were my mum's. <laughs> She's just had them forever. Um, yeah, so blues and greens in here. My favourite colours, so I like to keep those ones together. And then the back one's got a peach pattern on, and this one's just the other pencils that I've got. So you've got like some Maybellines. Um, I've got my Bad Gal um, liner, and then um, collection pencils are in there. I've got some Urban Decay ones in there as well, um, which are really lovely pencils. And then a couple of NYX ones. So that's just a jumble of sort of eyeshadow pencils in there. Then I've got this lovely box that I got off eBay. It's just a nice makeup storage box. It's got butterflies on, it's really quite nice. And in here are all my MAC um, pigments. Now these are the um, metallic pig pigments, crushed metallic pigments. So quite a few in here. Um, there's a, a layer on the bottom and then a layer in the middle and then the layer on the top. Down the side here I've got this Blushes and Me palette which is blushes and contour and highlight. I've sent this by Beauty Chamber to review so I'm actually using that at the moment and then I'll be reviewing it shortly. And then I've got some more drawers here. Now the top layer actually lifts. Those are all um, pinky colours in there. And then in the bottom are peachy colours. So it's quite organised. And then over on the side of the deck, I've got this plinth that I got from a charity shop that I just really liked. It's got a lot of nice detail and around the edges. And it just lifts them up a little bit higher. And on there I've got this container that I got in a clearance store, which I need to clean off that sticker residue. Um, but it's really pretty. It was a pound and it's really heavy. And I've got my Sigma brushes in there. And then on here is this Perspex letter rack. And then in here I've got my MAC palettes. 
um, eyeshadow palettes at the front. Then I've got a big mirror that I got from Boots, which is a bit grubby. And then I've got another eyeshadow palette that I'm working on putting things in. And then I've got a blush palette from MAC at the back. In front of that is this light, which is actually from Ikea. And that's what it looks like. It's really pretty when it's lit up at the night time. Then I've got a plant pot, um, which is also from Ikea. It was very cheap. And in here are all my Urban Decay liners. Um, they used to be in that particular pot there, but I outgrew this. I absolutely love those. And then I've got this little sort of dish. Got this from a charity shop for, I think that was either 79 pence or 99 pence. And these are my favourite MAC lipsticks of the moment. So I've put those out and I'm using those all the time. And then I've got a little Nutella jar. And in here are the um, Extreme Colour Payoff set and the Blend set, the new two new sets from Sigma. I'm putting those separate because I'm wanting to get used to using them for what they're used for. Um, yeah, so they are there. Then I've got this amazing mirror, which, hiya, yeah. <laughs> this was actually um, from a charity shop. I can't remember how much it was, but I know it wasn't more than £3, but it's like vintage um, 70s style cream with the gold on, and it's, as you can see, it's really tall, it's great for putting my makeup on, and that just stands there. If I need anything behind it, it's easy enough to pull forward, but I really like that. And then over here, um, I've got this big sort of thing from Ikea which is actually to go in a kitchen cupboard so you put this in and then it's a space saver so that it creates an extra shelf for you. And then on top of here, a lot of craziness, I'm going to stand up here so to kind of show you, I've got two e.l.f. large brush holders and in the front of this one are my MAC, I only get the small collection brushes so they're special edition, these are all the sort of powder and blusher brushes, I've got my Daniel Sandler in there and then I've got some random Number seven, um, Revlon by um, brushes in the middle, and my glitter applicators from Elf. And then in the back um, are my Real Techniques brushes. Um, these are the Duo Fiber ones, and then I've got the Mac Duo Fiber ones in there as well. I'm probably going to move the smaller ones out so I can use them better. And then over here is another large brush holder. I've got the Real Techniques eye brushes in this corner, then I've got the blush brushes, um, Expert Face Brush, Highlighter Brush, the pink ones in the middle, so purple, pink, and then the orange ones at the end which are the, the powder brushes, um, highlight brushes, foundation brushes in the back. Then in front of here, it looks a bit mad but it's totally organised really, so I'll take some of the things off the front, it's going to be easier and then I can show you what's on here in better detail. So, at the back you've got this glass, this was from a charity shop, and it was very cheap, I just quite liked it, and in here are primers basically, so I've got Urban Decay Primer Portion, um, I have got the It Stick which is great for under brows, I've got Gosh Primer, Revlon Primer, all sorts of eye primers in there, very useful. Um, here, in this lovely one here, which I got from Matalan, which was a pound because one of flowers is a little bit broken. Um, these are my Urban Decay and MAC brushes in here. Uh, it's just quite nice to keep them separate and together. And then in this High School Musical Cup are a lot of liners. And I've got my Cupid's Bow from Benefit in here, which I'm probably going to move actually. But these have got some MAC liners in there, some sleek, mainly lip products in there to be honest. And beside these is the Sigma Creme de Couture palette. I like to keep that there because it keeps it nice and clean and it's just quite small so it's useful to store it then. I reach for it quite a lot anyway. Then I've got the um, little Kabuki from Real Techniques which it opens up. Great for contouring. Then I've got this little glass dish. This was actually from a skip. <laughs> yes. It's not disgusting really, Alec was taking some broken glasses when he worked at the pub and he was taking them down to the, the tip and then beside the actual tip for the glass was a box full of glassware and he brought it home and this was in it and it's just got my little um, nose stud in there. I don't know if you can see that, it's a blue diamond. So that's just quite safely stored up there. <laughs> And then on the front, right in the middle, is this. Um, basically, we've got my um, 
Touche Clear in there and then just a bunch of things like the makeup remover pen and then lots of liners from different places. It's got Ico which I got free the magazine, Avon Super Shock and various little um, sort of liners that I've picked up in beauty boxes. Um, they're quite handy sometimes because sometimes the Urban Decay are very creamy, sometimes I want something a little bit drier. Um, so those are there. And that's also a little glass from a charity shop as well. And then this is a glass from a charity shop. I got three for £2 and I love the pattern on this. I think it's really pretty. And in here are random things. <laughs> so in here I've got mascara and then I've got my Urban Decay lip liner. I've got a couple of Real Techniques lip brushes. I've got my Sigma Enlighten eyeliner, NYX Jumbo Stick in white. A couple of little Lime Crime things which I haven't hauled. Um, they're just eyeliners. I've got my MAC Prep and Prime for lips, my white eyeliner from MAC, um, which is chromographic. I've moved, moved my Cupid's bow in there. I've got a brow. No, that's an, a mascara. Just lots of little different things, but I know where they are, so they're really useful to reach for because I actually use things out of this every day. I've got my MAC Lip Erase, which lives on the front of here. That's it. <laughs> and then another one of these little containers. And in this one are my Rihanna things. So I've got my Rihanna brush, which I haven't used as yet. Um, and then I've got my lipsticks. So I've got four. I've got Riri Woo, Ho, Boy and Talk That Talk. And then I've got my lip gloss in there. And I should have maybe one or two things added to there from the winter collection shortly. Down the side, that's my tin that I use for Spacey's Roundup. Then I have got my Sephora um, Disney palettes and these are Jasmine and Cinderella and they just sit down the side. Then I've got this pot that is also from a charity shop. <laughs> what would you have guessed it? Um, it's actually really quite nice. The Urban Decay liners once lived in there as well till they outgrew it. And in here are some of my favourite lip products. So you've got the Sleek Matte Mies, then you've got the MUA Luxe Velvet Lip Lacquers and then in the back I've got um, five of the Urban Decay saturated lip pencils which I just love and uh, they just sit back there and that's it for the top of the desk and then on top of course I've got this big piece of glass which I've got the Marilyn mural underneath because the desk is actually quite damaged it's a very old desk Alec got me this um, from an antique shop and as you can see there's damage here as well we are thinking about resurfacing it um, but this definitely brightens up the surface also it's really nice that it's glass because it's washable and it's very hard as in it's not like window glass it's actually pr like proper glass to wear to put on a surface so it's actually like really strong glass now under here this is um, a rack that I got from um, again this is from a, sh <laughs> a charity shop this was a pound as you can see it's a cutlery tray so this just pulls out and in the front are all my sugar pill shadows I'm going to do a sugar pill collection so I'll not go into them too much but that's all of them at the front there and because they're there it just makes them very reachable and instead of being in a drawer and forgetting about them they're there I have another one of these large um, containers which was from eBay again got the butterfly on it and then I've got a bunch of stuff in here so I'll come back to that we'll talk about this first so in the back of the cutlery tray I have got um, the gosh lipstick that I got in a gossy box and then I've got my collection lipsticks and my Diego Della Palmer in there then my dainty doll eyeshadow collections there in the back are my Illamasqua eyeshadows and then I've got a NYX glitter palette and then I've just got um, a couple of pots with some broken MAC lipsticks in. I've got a couple of empty pots that I'm going to use to mix um, pigments and then I've got my MUA Lux Velvet palettes in here. They're just quite nicely stored there, they're easy to see. And that's everything that's in there and that just slots back quite nicely, doesn't take up much space and it's ideal. And then in this one here, um, I've got my mirror, which is a 10 times mirror, which I use when I'm doing eye work because I have a bit of a visual problem um, with one eye, so I need to be able to have um, it magnified so I can see that I've got both my eyes even, which can be a problem sometimes. And then in here, these are all of the um, benefit boxes of powder that I own. I don't have the new one, Rocketeur, because I'm not into rose gold. I don't like gold on my cheeks as a, you know, it's not really my thing. Um, but I've got the blushes Coralista, um, this one's Dallas, 
um, which I use as a contour. Then I've got Dandelion, which is an all over face beauty powder. I've got Bella Bamba, which is a blush. At the back, Ten, which is a contour highlight. Then I've got Georgia, which is one of my favourite powders ever. It's just a beauty powder, really brightens your complexion. Sugar Bomb blush. Havana blush, which is just stunning. Dallas, which is Hula, sorry, which is the best bronzer ever for people with fair skin, I think. And then at the back, if I can get it out, is Throb, which is quite a nice blush. And then in the side, down the front, I've got the two Emma Tears, which were from Glossy Box. I've got the cream one and the black one. And then I've just got two sort of gel liners in here. They're both just 17 ones, they're black. Then I've got my Rihanna palette, my Spider Queen, and then I've got my three MAC Fashion Forecast Lips palettes in there as well. And then I've just got my winter, not last year, the year before, my MAC Winter Collection eye palette there, which has also got a blush in it. And then that just sits on top of there quite nicely. And it all just slides back. So that's fantastic. And then over here, this is just an IKEA unit that I've got. Um, I've got a lot of glossy box stuff in there. Um, a lot of sort of stock and then I've got belts in one of the drawers. I've got an Ikea lamp there. And then I've just got, I'm not talking too much about what's on here, but this little tray is handy just to put things down on. That's another one of those glasses with a little girl on with the tea light in. Then just a bunch of different things, hair oils, um, perfumes, hairsprays just on here. Little samples that I'm using and some cotton wool in that jar there, which again, charity shop. This is from a charity shop. No, that's from Ikea. A charity shop. <laughs> Lots of little perfume samples. A little cat plate and then a Marilyn picture that I framed. And that's a mirror tray that I've stood up. It's actually got a bird cage on it, but not that you'll see too much. And I've got some perfume here and I've just got a couple of sets of drawers. They've just got like the MUA lip balms and little bits and pieces in. Then a ceramic dish. Again, that was from a charity shop. That was a pound. And I've just got little samples and hair oils in there that I'm using. So, and then over here, I've got an IKEA storage unit, and this has basically just got got my Urban Decay. Then I've got my carousel from Tesco on there, which has got my Mac makeup remover, cleanse off oil, strobe lotion, which I use more during the summer, um, oil. Then I've got mineralized charged water, my eye makeup remover, and Fix Plus in there. I have got some random pencils that I don't use too often but they're in a the mirror. I've got products here which are a lot of these sort of chubby stick pencils which I actually reach for quite a lot. Um, eye curlers, scissors, pen, random things that you need. A couple of little strobe cream samples in there. My Urban Decay Fix Plus, I want to say Fix Plus, it's all night there. Then I've got my little Coralista sample in there. Um, some Dermalogica and some tweezers and things. And that's my dirty brushes that need washing. Somebody's used my scissors and put them in the wrong place. I've got my Face Atelier back here, which is what I use um, to mix pigments, to make them into cream shadows. Got some mascaras and random eye products back here and some lip products. And then that's my charger for my battery. And then these are my little lip mix and palettes. I've got a couple of books here and this little book that I made which is lots of pictures of my palettes I'll briefly show you. I printed out the palettes, tied it together with a ribbon and then this is all the shadows and the palettes. If I'm wondering about what look I might do and I'm thinking of a specific colour I can look through here rather than search through all the palettes. So That's actually been quite useful. Right, moving on. I have in here this is just stock drawers. I'm not going to go through all of those. I've got my lashes in the top um, and then it's just basically things that I've picked up in three for twos or blog sales or swaps and I just place everything in there and yeah, it's quite handy.